It is NBA action on EA Sports. I'm at Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams. Should be a terrific game here tonight. We're at Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Tonight, the Brooklyn Nets play host to the Golden State Warriors. The Nets able to control the tip. We're underway in Brooklyn. Jay, 28 wins a year ago for the Nets, but a couple of individuals, they shined in their playing time. Eight wins better than the year before, and think about Jared Allen for this team. He is a new age five, has the versatility and the speed to run the court. And then you think about a guy like Spencer Dinwiddie, who actually got drafted in the second round and actually gambled on himself, had a horrific knee injury. To see the kind of minutes due to the injuries that he played and the level that he played at, Ed, this team is on their way. To Russell. Screen coming. Trying to cash in. Russell with a shot no good. It's easy. Force guys into low percentage shots. That's the reason why we're big into stats. It was all provided to you before the game in the scouting report. Brooklyn's got it. To Russell. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. You feel that? I see the confidence building. Curry to bring it up. Down two. Durant to Curry. Screen, screen. To Green. Thompson. Yes, Clay Thompson. Missed his first, that one goes. Clay Thompson equals a jump shooting metronome. Catch, plant, and shoot, and there's no wasted motion from the waist up, which leads to him being one of the most efficient players in the league. He's led the league for three seasons in a row in catch and shoot opportunities. You'll probably want to run him off the three-point line, force him to put the ball down on the ground and make a play. Curry to Thompson. Rebounded by Russell. Nets have the basketball. Russell on a bad pass. Going to be taken away by the Warriors. Stuffs it down with authority. How do you neutralize a threat like Kevin Durant? Well, that weak side defender constantly has to shade Kevin Durant and that primary defender. You have to funnel KD into help every single possession, contest shots, and hope that you can deter his vision and that he misses. Has a look and scores. Nice move, Jay. You know, Ed, people have short memories, but this kid was only 19 when he first came into the league. Sure, as the second overall pick, you're going to have high expectations. Trust me, I know. But D'Lo's game is different. First off, he's a lefty, so he throws you off. And his style is even herky-jerky, maybe even choppy-like. That reminds me of Rod Strickland. But fans, we need to be patient with the process and let kids develop. And I'm still very optimistic that D'Lo is going to live up to all the hype he had coming out of the Ohio State University. Jay, D'Angelo Russell, former number two pick. He can be special. What's your prognosis for him? Well, he has a chance to own Brooklyn this season and own New York City. Only played 48 games last year due to a knee injury. But still, look at the signs of growth this young man has had over the last couple of years. He went through that situation in L.A. He came to New York. This offseason, he's been completely quiet. You've been seeing videos of him just working out, getting his body right. It's a matter of time before you feel like D'Angelo Russell or D'Lo will take this game over.
Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. To Alan Crabb. Inside, he scores. And for the money Crabb got, he better be a professional scorer. Getting it done the hard way. Golden State at the controls. Livingston to Thompson. Five to shoot for Golden State. Shot by Thompson misses. And a lot of times in this league, teams take days off. But if this defense keeps maintaining that style of pace defensively, this is going to be a dogfight. A bad pass there. Warriors have it. Thompson to bring it into the front court. They can get a two for one if they play this right. Dinwiddie into the front court. Down three. To Alan Crabb. Warriors come away with it. From long range, not a good shot there as he misses it. Deep three at the buzzer. Three-pointer at the buzzer, almost. It would have counted, but it's no good. And that does it for the first quarter. to the second period. A little bit of a feeling out process so far. A feeling out process between each teams and also, Ed, a feeling out process with the referees. A lot of quick whistles. The game is being called differently. Look to see how both teams adjust. Livingston to Thompson. Has a chance. Offensive board. Nice touch around the basket with the tip. Green doesn't need the score to be effective. He's a more skilled Dennis Robin of this generation. He's an undersized student of the game who can guard positions one through five, a rarity even in today's style. And let me tell you what he's going to do. He's going to disrupt your game plan and probably try to get under your skin. So stay composed and don't go for the bait. Fires the three. Tough shot for Dinwiddie. No good. Thompson to bring it into the front court. Up five. KD for two. Ah, Kevin Durant. Three for three in this first half. Have we ever seen anyone like KD? Easy answer, no. He's the greatest offensive threat we've ever seen in the game. He has a 7-5 wingspan, and he's doing things that Russell Westbrook does with the ball. We've never seen it before. Russell to Dinwiddie. Off the pro hop, strong footwork. There you go, finally. Shoot your shot. Possession lies with Golden State. Livingston to Thompson. Warriors with four to shoot. Short jumper won't go down. It's so important to instill confidence in your best player. I know he missed a shot earlier, but that doesn't mean that you can't run the same exact play and let him prove he's a player he thinks he is and we all know he is. Iguodala to bring it up. Leads five. Gets a look. Can't hit. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. To Dinwiddie. Yes, D'Angelo Russell. He is shooting well. He's made two-thirds of his shots. Might have had an extra dribble or two there, but he got the shot again. We get a whistle and a timeout by Golden State as they'll discuss matters in what's now a three-point game. 
Three titles in four years. New arena next year, Jay, in San Francisco. Crazy to think that any of these Warriors would want to go anywhere else. It's the way they've been leveraging their brand off the court in Silicon Valley. You see guys like Kevin Durant, who have 35 Media, his only media production company, also making a ton of investments. You see Stephen Curry and Andre Iguodala investing in e-game sports, amongst other things. I actually got a chance to host a Players Technology Summit with Andre Iguodala, where he talked about a multitude of things that he's invested in. They're able to leverage the business outside the business of sport, which is why I think they'll stay around in the Silicon Valley for a very long time. New blood coming in for both sides. So again, for the Golden State Warriors, number 30. Thompson to Curry. Thompson. Count the basket. A lot of contact. No foul. So many times you can tell if a player is going to finish before he even gets to the rim. Did you see that look on his face? That was the look of a three-point play. You always going in think you can get more at the rim. Curry. Goes reverse to lay it in. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. Screen, I got your help. The screen sets him up for two. Oh, don't see the read. Be the read. Warriors basketball. Thompson to Green. Here comes the screen. Durant to Green. And a bad pass as it's taken away by the Nets. Got it. As my mother would say to the defender, A for effort, F for results. Curry with the basketball, down by one. To Thompson. Shot from the lane, won't go. Nice follow up on the dunk there. He's a modern day big that plays like a 6'2 guard. Scary. Dinwiddie with the basketball. They trail by one. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. Everybody in the building, including myself, thought that pass was going somewhere else. Fool me once? Okay. But you're definitely not fooling me twice. Curry to Green. They'll get it to Durant. And stuffs it home. You know what I like about this pass play? Instead of putting his head down and forcing the action, he patiently waited for the play to develop. Time for some new personnel into the game. Russell to Alan Crabb. To Russell. Shot clock coming down to four. Down to three. Beyond the arc for three. Tough shot, no good for Alan Crabb. Mm -hmm. 
He'll let one fly from half court. That's it for the first half. The Warriors with the lead. by EA Sports. The Warriors are in a close game thus far. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. These are the guys getting buckets for the Golden State Warriors. are the guys getting buckets for the Brooklyn Nets. Game track. Steals. The story of this game so far has been the lack of ball security. Neither team could hold on to the ball. And unfortunately, it made the first half kind of tough to watch. Clay Thompson did a great job of reading the defense and exploiting the opportunities where he can make the most damage. He's definitely feeling it. Here we go with the top plays from the first half. Number two. Number one. And with that, I'm sending it back to Ed and Jay to bring you the rest of the game. Warriors last year had to go on the road, win a game seven at Houston to take the West. Jay, you know Steve Kerr wants to see his team play better at home, make sure they get home court advantage. Especially because this is the last year at Oracle Arena. And when you have a team that can play with a sense of urgency that is as talented as this Golden State Warriors team is, you better watch out. They slacked off last year. They were 29 and 12 at home. Now that's a pretty amazing record at home, but let me tell you why they slacked off. The three years prior to that combined, they were 114 and nine. I think we're gonna see that Golden State Warrior team from those years instead of the one from last year. That's what they brought him in for. Alan Crabb hits the three. It's Golden State basketball. Not everybody possesses this power, but wow, what quarter awareness. Here comes the screen, Durant. From the painted area, won't go down. Russell into the front court. Our score all even in this third quarter. Off the mark to Hollis Jefferson. Nice pass to get things going. What a pass. I have no clue how that ball even made it through the traffic. Durant across the timeline. Looking to make something happen. To Green. Here's a chance from long range. Oh, he couldn't get it to go. It was right there. Green to Thompson. Trying to cash in. Yes, Clay Thompson. He's four for eight. That's 50%. I don't know what the point of you having a scouting report is if you don't utilize it. You're allowing him to get to positions on the floor where you know he feels most comfortable. Make it a challenge for him by making him do something uncomfortable. Russell. To Alan Crabb. Yeah. 
Russell. To Alan Crabb. Double team. Here we go. Plenty of contact. The shot no good. Curry into the front court. Tie game, third quarter. Oh, pass stolen by the Nets. Tie ball game. Make this possession count. Tough make through traffic. And cutting hard in transition is one of the most underrated things about this game. The harder you can cut is the more it opens up the floor to make plays just like that. Durant to Curry. 4-3. That's off the side of the rim. No good. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Eight seconds. It's going the other way. Steve Kerr gets some new personnel on the floor. And he's fouled. A couple of free throws coming up, Jay. The game is too tight for you to be taking risks like that. You want to avoid foul trouble at all costs. Damari Carroll at the line. First free throw is good. Number eight, Spencer Denwitty. And number 35, Good free throw shooting. Knocks down a pair. To Green. Thompson. To Sean Livingston. Jordan Bell with the dunk. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Thompson, and he can't get it to go down. It's no good. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. Alan Crabb at the line for a chance at a three-point play. A career 84% free throw shooter. Jay, you know the Warriors love challenges. As they go for a three-peat, why not try and incorporate the personality and presence of a DeMarcus Cousins? Well, if there's anybody up for the challenge, it will be a head coach who's had multiple years in dealing with one of the hottest players, when I mean personality, hottest players in the league, and Draymond Green, and, and that's Steve Kerr. And look, DeMarcus Cousins is going to come back on this team probably after All-Star break, and I think he'll have a chance to really add another versatile piece but in the interim, I think a guy like Jordan Bell is going to be huge. There's no more JaVel McGee in this squad, but a guy like Jordan Bell or Kevon Looney can give them the length and the intimidation of what they need down low on the blocks. To Green. The rebound cleared by the Nets. Dinwiddie into the front court. Less than a minute to go in this third quarter. To Allen Crabb. Down low for Davis. Popped out. Livingston to bring it up. The deficit is six. And he's fouled. Nice move that time, and he's going to the line for two. No, no, no. I'll tell you, the team that makes the little mistakes, like committing unnecessary reaching fouls like that, will be the team that ends up with the L. Can't connect on the first free throw. Knocks down the second after missing the first. Dinwiddie with the basketball. His guys can get a two for one if they time this out. Knock loose. That'll be out of bounds. Last touch by the Warriors.
Let's it fly from long range. It's good. Something tells me they'll give him that shot again. Great shot by the offense. But the defense, you can't afford to collapse off that penetration. I'd rather a team take a tough two than a wide open three. Durant buries it. Ed, let me tell you how this one goes. It ain't no fun if the homies can't have some. Everyone's getting a piece of the rock tonight. It's Brooklyn's ball. With the fadeaway, burns him for the basket. And the true test of a team's character is how they respond when they get hit in the mouth. Keep digging. That misses with a second to go. Three quarters down, the Nets have the lead. Brooklyn basketball here as we start the fourth quarter. They have clearly been the better side so far. Jay, that's reflected on the scoreboard. Well, the cardinal rule in the game of sport is whenever you go into the fourth quarter, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. You have to play the game with the scoreboard saying 0-0. Zero, zero. And if you can win that game by double digits, then you've done your job in the fourth. Ah, Steph Curry. It's been a quiet night. Only three attempts, but he makes that one stick. His instincts are unnatural, but what makes him so good given the work he's put in? The special thing about Stephen Curry is that his entire life he has practiced great habits. A lot of players practice and get up shots, but they don't practice the right habits, and that comes with the lineage. His father, Dale Curry, making sure that he puts in the time and effort, but the proper skill with the time and effort. Inside, he scores. Ah, and that transition offense was flawless. When guys fan out and actually fill the lanes with a sense of urgency, you heard me correctly, a sense of urgency, you will get a great shot every possession. Hand in his face, still hits. You don't see that very often. When one player goes down, or maybe in this case, two, it gives a player an opportunity to really rise to the occasion. Well, that happened last year with Spencer Dinwiddie. When Jeremy Lin and D'Angelo Russell both went down to injury, this kid went from a D-League player to a starter in the NBA and one of the most clutch players we had for the Brooklyn Nets this past year. Brooklyn with the basketball. Russell to Dinwiddie. Defense played it well. Shot no good. Rejected by Durant. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Here's Curry with it up top. His guys trail now by four. So important to take care of the basketball. Easy two on the other end after the turnover. So many people think making assist is creating something razzle and dazzle. Sometimes giving the ball up early is the right play and the most efficient. Curry into the front court. Down six. Draymond Green will go to the line to shoot two. All right, that was a little bit of a gamble there, but not a terrible move sending him to the free throw line. Knocks down the first. No back-to-back -back free throws here. He missed the second. Russell with it up top. Up five. Oh, stolen by the Warriors. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in a playoff game, it will. Durant. That won't go. And there's always so much talk about defense. How about offensively? If you continue to attack that shooter, now you're making him work on the defensive end that makes him take his legs away on the offensive end. Tough shot and nearly a chance at a three-point play. No foul. That's what you like. That rip through right into the shot. That's smooth. Have to respect all elements of his game. It's good. Count the basket and the foul. <laughs> he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref's bit, and that's the game.
Kevin Durant trying to cash in on the three-point play. Career 88% from the line. Can convert the free throw. Nets have it. Runner here won't go. And that's next level defense. The defender took away the pocket space of the shooter. Now as a shooter, they shoot hundreds of shots each and every day from that pocket with consistency. Now you're forcing to change the angle or the positioning of that pocket. You're going to lower the chances of them making that shot. Green to Thompson. Denied! As my old teammate RJ would say, stay down, clown. Green buries it on the catch and shoot. This game comes down to micro adjustments. Either mismatches, ball screens, slipping action on those ball screens, quick fades to threes. It just seems like you're actually finding your rhythm offensively. Russell into the front court. They lead it, four point game. To Alan Crabb. On a bad pass. Going to be taken away by the Warriors. You go back to the principles. Things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade. is called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively. You try to deny the next pass away. And you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together, collectively, you will be able to stop a great passing team. Thompson to Durant. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. And Kevin Durant unguardable. Hand in his face, he still hits the three. One of the most understated things a player can do for himself after having a poor first half performance, spending some time alone and saying positive words of affirmation. I like that you did that. Now you're on your way. To Hollis Jefferson. Russell. Oh, they call the foul. A simple touch foul. Shifting gears. Here come some substitutions. They've slowed down the pace. Now three on the shot clock. Going to launch. Beyond the arc. Not getting the bounce. Bell to Curry. It's blocked by Allen. That kid can block out the sun, Ed. Allen Crabb, good touch. You see, Ed, skill levels at this game are at an all-time high. Inside-out threats are tough. You got to make it hard for him to actually catch the ball in those higher percentage areas. Durant. Fires the three, and Stephen Curry. We say it time and time again. Not much the defense could have done there. Just because someone is listening to you doesn't mean that they actually hear you. At the end of the game, when players get tired, they listen to what the assignment was, but they didn't hear what it was. Brooklyn's got it. Screen coming. Brooklyn with four to shoot. Now the Warriors going to call a timeout. They're going to have to draw something up for an open look at a three. Deep three at the buzzer. It's the Nets who are victorious as they win this one by three. That'll wrap things up. For Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports.
Sports here, and I've got your EA Sports post-game wrap-up. When you look at these highlights, you can see how this team was able to earn the victory in this matchup. Great game by this squad. Check out the leading scores for the Brooklyn Nets. The Warriors must be devastated after such a close loss. They shot exceptionally well from beyond the arc, but even that long-range efficiency wasn't enough for them to get the win. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Golden State Warriors. Game track. Three-point shooting. Each of these teams were solid with their long-range shooting. So by extension, they were pretty poor with their perimeter defense. Closing out on shooters must always happen, whether you're tired or not. Player of the game. Crab put up the kind of points that made him an easy choice for this award. He couldn't be stopped. And when he realized he was in his own, he just took it to another level. We had picked them for you. Here are the top plays. Number two. Number one. On behalf of Ed Coyne and Jay Williams, this is Jalen Rose signing off.